Hey everyone, Greg here with Collective. And today I wanna to talk to you about data sources with Power BI and kind of what, where Collective is starting to go with, where we're encouraging clients to consider um, when they actually look at a data source for their Power BI enterprise reporting. So many of you have heard of something called a data warehouse. Um, what we have actually been starting to implement more with some of our clients is something called a data lake house. And the reason we've been looking at a data lake house is because it's much more cost effective and less costly um, to utilize a data lake when you're building out Power BI reports. So if you're simply just looking to um, you know, build out Power BI enterprise-wide reporting, you may consider a data lake house. And the reason for that is, is in your data lake house, you can have a, a bunch of different dimensions, a bunch of fact tables, um, and all those, none of those actually have to be related while they are in, um, in that data lake house. Basically, because all you're doing is you're creating a container or a folder of all of these different flat files um, that have already been transformed into the format that you need them in, you know, i.e. dimensions, fact tables, etc. And then what you should look at doing is, is once all of those dimensions or all your facts are inside of that data lake house or that folder location, um, you can now pull that into a Power BI uh, data model. And then that's where you can actually start to build out your reporting infrastructure. So you can start building out these much, you know, sales oriented uh, Power BI tabular models, financial uh, oriented Power BI tabular models. And when you're doing that, you're kind of creating these miniature data marts um, that is specifically for reporting. So again, specifically only looking at um, Power BI, Power BI reporting of why we would implement a data lake house for something like this. Uh, now there are some pros and cons to that. I would say one con is if you're actually wanting to do direct query, I don't think data lakes are the route to go. You should then look at doing uh, pulling data from some form of SQL database or, or version thereof. Um, but again, if you're looking to do a simple import method into Power BI and creating, um, and creating more of those data marts uh, throughout Power BI tabular models, I would consider uh, looking at a data lake house approach. So as always, that's our thoughts right now as to where we're seeing how we're starting to implement a lot of projects. I'm curious to hear what, all, what everyone else out there is doing. Uh, if you agree with my approach, if you disagree with my approach, again, like I said, there's pros and cons to every method. And, and as always, it's never one size fits all. So thanks again for watching. That's it for my tips and tricks for today. Um, stay tuned for more like this from Collective.